Um, all praises going on to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakudash, which means in the Hebrew language, all praises to the Most High. His true name is Yahweh, in the name of His Son, whom the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Rakakudash means Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. This is a response video to um, GMS Love to Edify, which is El Dayash of uh, uh, GMS Indiana. Uh, that's his page. It's called To Stay in the Spirit, You Must Do the Things That's of the Spirit. All right, this is part two of his lesson. And uh, I'm going to start with uh, uh, the scripture in Peter's. Um, you know, I, I, I remind myself personally, I call it a, a blue, a blueprint scripture, like a, a blueprint is basically like a layout of something, you know, uh, like, like how to execute the proper way to execute, and, you know, and these scriptures is the blueprint for, for us to live our lives, you know? So, uh, first Peter, Salakia, cancel, let me see, I got it. Oh, 2 Peter. It's 2 Peter starting at, uh, I'll start at, uh, verse 5. It says, 2 Peter 1 and 5, and beside this, giving all diligence. So that's part of it. You got to give all diligence. Let's see, diligence. Haste, earnest, in earnestness in accomplishing, promoting, or striving after anything. So we're pro promoting the, the truth of the Bible. We're, we're, we're doing it earnestly, and we're doing it with haste. So that, that's how you be diligent. You got you to be constant, you know. So it says, give all diligence. So we got to add to the diligence. We got to add, uh, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue, okay? Add to the, vir it says virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, all right? So uh, just, you know, to see what they got for virtue. Virt a virtuous course, oh, I'll read part two. Any particular moral excellency, excellence as, as modesty, purity. And that's, you know, uh, keeping the statutes and laws to the best of our ability. You know, executing the word of the Lord through the scriptures. All right, you got to add to that knowledge. So, you, you know, you got to read, you got to study. You got we, we look up words like I'm doing right here. You know, going to history, might have to go into a little science, whatever. Anything to, um, to promote the word of the Lord. It says, and to knowledge, temperance. Now, temperance is uh, self-control. You got to have self-control because, you know, certain things happen where uh, you get mad, you get angry, that our people don't uh, trust and believe in the Bible, things of that nature. But the scripture says uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual, mighty through the pulling down the strongholds. So strongholds are lies. Like a stronghold is, 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 strongholds is basically like, uh, like a, a, a tower. Or something that's that's guarded. So our, our our the minds of the the masses of the people is guarded with lies. This this truth, the truth of the scripture can't permeate. It can't break through their mind because they're uh, well. Number one, the scripture said the deceived and the deceived the deceiver are his because the Lord got them in that situation, and also because these lies has been uh, repetitively pushed on our people. All right, so. By, by constantly being in the scripture, we, that's how we break down these strongholds through the spirit of the Lord, which is the the scriptures. But you got to understand them. That's why you got to add. You got to add to your vir your faith virtue, your virtue knowledge, and to your knowledge temperance. Temperance is you know is just the balance, and to temperance patience. Because uh, let me look up patience. It says uh, steadfastness, constancy, endurance. Now Sirach chapter two says when you uh. When thou comes uh, to serve the Lord, prepare thy, thy soul for temptation and constantly endure. So we're going to be tried. we got to add the patience and to patience godliness. All right. Because the scripture says, what? Be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. It says, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. Verse 8. For if these things be in you and abound. I like looking up this word because it say to super abound. So basically to increase. So it's, it's, you're constantly uh, growing, you know. So it, it says, but if, but it say, for if these things be in you and abound, they make ye that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. I'm going to read to 10. It says, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Verse 10, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, 
for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. All right. So that's how to stay. That's the blueprint. That's how you stay in the. You know. That's that's the way. That's how you stay in the spirit. So, uh, jumping over to Sirach. This is in in the uh, the apocrypha. Uh, the Sirach chapter four. We're gonna start at sixteen, known as Ecclesiasticus as well. It says, if a man commit himself unto her, that's wisdom. You know, the Yahweh Shai in John 6 and 63 said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. So the wisdom comes from this Bible. All right. So if you commit yourself unto her, that her being wisdom, he shall inherit her. So you got to devote yourself to this knowledge and you'll receive it. And his generation shall hold her in possession. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. Because here in America, we have not been taught discipline. So when you find, you know, when you doing something new or doing something foreign, it's a struggle. It could be a struggle at first. It's like, it's like a new job. You know, when you get a new job, you don't understand it at first. That first week might be hard, but as you grow in it, as you learn in it, you, under, you, you understand it. It becomes easier. It may even become fun, you know. It says, uh, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. So the Lord, this knowledge is precious. The Lord just ain't going, the Lord don't, the scripture says, uh, all things come from um, heaven above, roughly paraphrasing. No man can receive anything unless it's uh, given from the Father in heaven. So this wisdom uh, makes you, uh, when you get this knowledge, it makes you a friend of God and prophets. But what also do the scripture say, if thou gettest a friend, try him first. And be not and do not give him too much credit too quickly. So that's what's happening right now. The Lord tries us by his laws until he may trust our uh, trust our soul. It says, then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. Verse 19. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. So that's how you get out of the spirit by 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 going off by straying off of the past. So to stay in the spirit, we got to we got to. Execute what the scriptures told us to do to stay in the spirit because it, it tells us now jumping over to wisdom of Solomon. Uh, chapter one, you start around uh, four. It says for into a Melissa's soul, wisdom shall not enter, shall not enter. So anytime you see the word mal, M-A-L, for the most part, malicious, malignant, uh, uh, malfunction, malnutrition. It's a prefix that means something negative, bad, evil, or like uh, like malo in Spanish means bad. So it's negative. So you got a, a if you got a, a, a negative soul or a wicked spirit, then wisdom not gonna enter into you, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. So if you under the authority of sin and you and that's ruling over your life, wisdom not gonna dwell there. It says, for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. So you can't be deceitful. You got to check your mind at all times. And remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. That's why the scripture says, gird up the loins of thy mind. Because if not, then wisdom ain't going wisdom not gonna dwell there where, where there's no understanding. It says, and will not abide when unrighteousness coming in. So you may have wisdom. But when unrighteous coming in, you get the falling off and you get the forsaken away, then wisdom not going to stay. And that's what you see with certain guys falling out of the truth, switching up the, the, the doctrine. The wisdom that they did have, it, it, it left them when, when, uh, when unrighteousness came in. All right? Because we're we not perfect. We, 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 all our righteousness is as filthy rags. But you got to constantly check yourself and ask the Lord for forgiveness and mercy and, um, and turn away from your sin. You know, it says, uh, now I'm going to jump to <laughs> getting an example. Oh, I was, uh, I was already there. This is, uh, this is first Samuel 10 and six. It says, and the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy with them and shall be turned into another man. So this is, this is Saul. Samuel is talking to Saul. Say, look, the spirit of the Lord going to come upon you and you're going to prophesy. I quoted the scripture earlier, uh, uh, wisdom make it make it make it us friends of the most high and prophets so uh at, at a point in time Saul had wisdom and it says and and he was turned into another man because the that's just like we in this world we 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 one uh we're one person 
That's why the scripture says, be ye renewed and transformed in your mind. Because you have one way of thinking you and your actions, you have one way of acting. But then when you get this knowledge and this truth, it turns you to another person. You know, you don't act the same. You don't speak the same. Your conversation different. You walk different. Your, your mannerisms become different. You know, that's when wisdom comes upon you. You become another person. But this is uh, 1 Samuel 16 and 14. It says, But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So, uh, uh, like we read in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter, wisdom will not abide when unrighteousness coming in. And what's unrighteousness? Anything that's against the Bible. And that's what Saul was doing. When you read the, uh, the account, he wasn't obeying the voice of the Lord. And he had the wisdom. But when, when, once he stopped obeying, the wisdom left him. And he waxed worse and worse and worse. Why? Right? Because an evil spirit troubled him. It's going, it's, the world is full of spirits. It's going to be spirits on you. Either, either you're going to have the spirit of the Lord or you're going to have the spirit of a devil. Or you're going to have an evil spirit. It's going to be it's one or the other. If you ain't got the spirit of the Lord, you're going to have the spirit of a demon on you. All right? So this is uh, 1 Samuel 15 and 22. It says, and Samuel said, have Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. And that's what we don't want. Because the scripture says it's better to obey. So that's how you stand in the spirit. That's another one. You just obey. Uh, do what the Bible say. That's that's is better. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And if not, if you rebelling, is that the sin of witchcraft? You deserve death. Because uh, if rebellion is that the sin of witchcraft, what does the scripture say about witches? Suffer not a witch to live. So all witches are supposed to be uh, put to death. All uh, uh, all rebellious people. If you rebelling against the Lord, you're supposed to be put to death. All right. And if you do that, then he'll reject you from being king because we're supposed to be a nation of kings and priests to the Lord. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakakodash. Shalom.